Hello and welcome back to another video and today I'm back with another cars video and today is a really another special one. If you remember the Lightning McQueen video from the other day, and this is just like that, but we're ranking all three of these different cruises in today's video. I know this isn't all the cruises, but this is I think the most three popular ones. You may say Francis Belline, but I say these three because I'll be rank I will be uh, reviewing Francis Belline's here soon, along with Chester Whipple Filter, so stay tuned for that. But today we'll be ranking all three of these, comparing them, and then at the end we'll be putting them on a podium from third to second to first. Stay tuned to see who's on top, but let's go ahead and hop right into this video. And I think I'm going to start off with the original cruise. And before, actually, before we get started, uh, stay tuned to the end again because I'm going to be showing four uh, cars that I'll be reviewing here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that as well. But here we go. The original Racing Center cruise is the one that we saw at the beginning of the movie. It has to be on this list. So here she is. Yellow Cruz, there's nothing too special and bright about her, but obviously yellow bright. But here she is, kind of plain, but she's an original cool character. I like her expression. Uh, it looks exactly like how she is in the movie. Right here, she's got her headlights, obviously yellow hood, nothing too special about it. Nice grin right there. Coming over here, she's got black tires, nice cool silver rims. This is Rusty's Racing Center 95, no, Racing Center Team, Rust, no. Rusty's Racing Team 95, there we go. Yellow door there, gray window, more, another tire right there, where you fill up the uh, gas. In the back here, you got the uh, red taillights, her trunk right there, with the gray window. Then she got her license plate, I think it's a CD106A, if you can't read it. And then coming over here on this side, Black tires again, silver rims, her door, gray windows, her uh, rear view mirrors, Rusty's Racing Team 95, and on the top here, yellow, and her yeah, gray window once again. So there she is. Nothing too special about her, but again, original character from the movie. Next up, we are going to go how it shows next in the movie, skipping the uh, Francis Beltline part. And also, I don't know if they make it or not, but they're... The Jackson Storm Cruise I want to race against. I don't know if they make that one. I need to see if I can get that. But here is the uh, Rusty's 95 when she was racing in the end of the movie. Really cool. It's a little upgrade. Same yellow and everything. But then she's got a spoiler and Ramon's paint on there. Let's go ahead and hop into that. So in the front, you can see absolutely no difference. If I was going to put these two together, from that angle, you can barely even tell the difference. But as soon as you turn to the side, it gets a lot cooler. Same grin, her headlights right there, her yellow hood, same expression. Light your tires now with red rims. And look at this. I think this is absolutely awesome. And it benefits the car a lot. Even going into the window, Ramon's Rusty's 95. 95 red highlighted in white. Then you have the blue. It's almost like it's 3D popping out. You got Cruise in red, really good. And you know, Rusty's in red, and her exhaust pipes right there. I think it looks really cool from this angle. Not so much from the front, but from this angle, it's awesome. And you see the lightning, and the, it goes all the way to the back over the 95. Really cool. You can see her spoiler and her red tail lights. Really cool right there. Same thing on this side. Rusty's 95 popping out, red, white, and blue. And you got Cruise in. Blue, light your tires, black tires, and red rims. Her gray windows once again. And yeah, and then from the top, and now she's got the, uh, what, what race cars have. I don't know how they put that on top, but that probably wasn't there in the movie. But uh, Mattel probably added that to it. Got the, I think that's how they see, maybe a bit different angle from the back. And then she's got a gray window once again. And spoiler, it would have been cooler. Maybe they could add something to the spoiler, maybe put a 95 or Rusty's on there. But no complaints, it looks cool. Ramon did everything that he could at the time he had. Real cool, really cool car for the second one. And lastly in the movie, when she's getting ready to race Lightning McQueen, and she switches to Dynaco, we have Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. And this is how she'll be. From guessing, if we get another Cars movie, this is how she's going to be. And how we're going to see her, hopefully. But yeah, from the front now, you can definitely see a change. She has different expression. Her mouth is now open. Her eyes are different. And I think I like this expression more. You can see it says Dynaco right here. And she looks all more like a racer. 
in blue, really cool. You got the headlights here. Come on this side. Ooh, those are some nice wheels. Black tires, nice shiny blue, almost looks metallic wheels. Dynaco in blue, 51. What does that say right there? Oh, I guess she has a couple sponsors now. I never noticed that. Piston Cup, Synergy, I think is one of them. Maybe Car, I don't know. I can't read them all. No complaints though. But then you got the dinosaur going over the wheel, which is really cool. Really like that. Gray windows, the black bar going through it. Coming to the back, you can see 51. The yellow taillights, Dynaco, the classic Dynaco, all the way back from Toy Story. And the lettering, you got the dinosaur for the Dynaco. See the spoiler there as well with the red taillights. Oh, I guess no. The red was the taillights. I don't know what the yellow is. Oh well. Got the dinosaur coming through again with the black wheels, uh, metallic blue rims. Dynaco in blue right there, gray windows, 51 in blue. Let's see if we can see any better on this side. Piston Cup, Synergy, and I still don't know what those ones are. I'll have to look here soon, otherwise I'll be thinking about it for a while. But there it is, back to the front, and on top, she's got 51 in blue with those, whatever things those are, in the gray window. You can see now, that's what I wish they did, both with Rusty's, now she's got Dynaco on the spoiler. Okay, we ranked all, or no, we didn't rank them yet. We reviewed all three of the cruises. Now it is time to rank them on our podium. You might recognize this podium from the Lightning McQueen video. But here we go in last place. Let me reach and get the cars real quick. In last place, we of course have the original Cruiser Ramirez. So the Lightning McQueen one, I was having a little tough time knowing which one I was going to put in last place. But this one. It's very basic cruise, it's just a yellow car. Nice original classic car from Cars 3, but I don't think she has too much special about her. So we're gonna leave her there. Next up, I'm gonna have to do the Rusty's 95 Cruiser Ramirez. That was in the race. And uh, yeah, she just has a couple upgrades. She's got a spoiler, she's a Rusty's 95. Really cool spray painted on there. Now she's got red um, rims. A lot better than the original Cruz Ramirez, but I don't think it can top what's coming in first place with Dynaco Cruz. I think that's by far the best cruise out of these three, even including Frances Beltline. If I was going to Frances Beltline to here, I think she's better than the original Cruz Ramirez because I think she has better detail, but not better than the Rusty's 95 one. But Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, I love the blue. The blue and yellow go great together, and she looks great at the end of the movie. And I really like that. But hope you guys did enjoy the review. And before you guys leave, here is the four upcoming cars that you'll be seeing be reviewed here soon. I'm going to be ranking Chase Race Lot, Metallic Chase Race Lot by himself. These two cars together in the next gen versus stock car series. And then I will be reviewing Sigler by himself. Stay tuned for those videos. Subscribe if you want to see those and keep up with those videos to make sure you see them as soon as you can. But I hope you guys did enjoy this review, and tell me if you agree with this ranking or not. And maybe this wasn't the best ranking, but in my opinion, I think it was. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.